Welcome back, everybody, to some more Octopath Traveler. I'm your host, the musical gamer. We're still here in Noble Corp, but we're about to go on a grand adventure. Well, grand. Grand might be the incorrect word to use in this situation, but it is an adventure nonetheless. We are going to head out with our dear old friend, Ravello, into the den of the obsidians. We're going to finally find out what exactly happened to Prim's father in this entire city, for that matter. You have my gratitude, Master Forsyth. I cannot guarantee your safety should you choose to go forward, my lady. I owe you a debt. Nor would I ask you to. Lady Primrose? You mean to avenge Jeffrey's death, do you not? I'll do what I, I must. I do. It has been my sole reason for living all these years. Mm -hmm. Very well. In that case, Lady Primrose, Pray allow this old man to accompany you. Dude, you want to come with me? Mm. There was a time when I too vowed I would see justice served. For so long, I had abandoned hope and lost my way. But reuniting with you, it has lit the path before me anew, as if the light of the flame shined upon us. I realize now that for all I have learned over the years, I still know nothing of true bravery. So then... Master Forsyth. I beg of you. If your faith will be your shield, Lady Primrose, let me be the sword at your side. Dude, I, I mean, hey, with, with an argument like that, I cannot say no. Alright, let's give it a go. Sir. The Lady Azelheart comes calling. Oh? Does she now? How thoughtful of her to save me the trouble of hunting her down myself. Hmm. <laughs> it's all playing out just as the boss said. Which reminds me. Wasn't he supposed to be joining us? Yeah! On that matter, sir, I'm afraid there's been a slight change of plans. He left a message. It appears there are some preparations he would see to first. <laughs> That's our boss. He's always had a flair for the dramatic. Sir? <laughs> no doubt he's preparing a welcome party of his own. My Lady Azelheart. Tis a pity you'll not live to see it. For the right wing will snuff the life out of you right here. Oh boy, spooky stuff. All right, pay a visit to the right hand man. All well, that we shall, but first things first, let's actually explore this place. See what kind of enemies are here and uh, give this place a once over. So even though the guy said he's coming with me, he's clearly not my like actual traveling companion, like being a lord or following Prim. So, eh, I, I mean, I guess it's fine. Hmm, now that I think about it, this is the very first time I'm fighting a battle that I don't have a black mage with me. Huh. Methinks this might be a minor issue. Actually, methinks this might be a good time for me to kind of experiment. Maybe give Prim the black mage stuff, because uh, Alvin can heal us. So that might actually be, actually both Alvin and Therian. Yeah, that's kind of overkill. <laughs> to be to be fair. All right then. Um while we're just here fighting these things, why don't we give this a go? Let's go Night Ode. Night Ode. Anybody with the dark over shade. here? Uh the dude up top is I'm actually a little worried. I do not cover nearly as many elements or attributes as I use usually do. At least I I that I have the entirety of this game up to this point. Um let's give this a last stand. Fatal touch. Hey, dude up at the front is weak to axes as well. Cool. Unfortunately, ow. Bring it looks on. like Hanna's been blinded. Uh, warrior skill, let's go with the level slash. Level slash. You're weak to swords. It's kind of the best way for me to just sort of experiment with things. Um, this is kind of annoying. Hmm. Rain of arrows? Rain and arrows up on me. 
All right, so the birds are weak to bows. <laughs> what the? No oh dear. Hmm. We could yeah. just go beast lore. Summon a beast? Who do we have? Damn, that's actually not so good. I wonder, if we try to capture one of these things, what, what can they do? In shadow? Eh, I mean, we have Prim with us. It's not really priority. As far as I'm aware. Mighty stab, double stab, incinerate all. Let's give it a go. Nobody's weak to fire, unfortunately, but well, we used it. I do have to use Hanit's beast skills more often because I'm finding that I... <laughs> not that I don't use them, it's just I tend to not even think about using them in a lot of situations. Yeah, this is weird. I have to be a little bit more... choosy. A little bit more strategic. You can't just, like, smash these guys with... Multi-targeting elemental attacks. I mean, unless I can get Prim to use some. With her high magic attack now, she could probably do it. At least effectively. Um, or we could do this, actually. Large volume, injurious dust. Ice. Shadow plume. Um, let's throw some essence of grape here. How do you like this? Blustery plume! I'll do it in the bottom of week to win. Oh, and the birds are weak to win, too. That doesn't really... It doesn't really help me. How about then? Hmm. I don't want to summon this guy yet. Just night out? Yeah, I mean, it does okay damage at this point. We did kill two of them. What's this? Oh! And that's mildly annoying. Um, you only have a dagger and a staff, so that's... Kind of annoying. Therian, do you... You could use some more... Oh, no, no, this is Prim. Oops! No, this is Prim. What am I, what am I doing? Just, just use Night Oat again. Bring your shade. All right, good. Kill that guy. Therian. Hey, he's weak to daggers. Good thing I tried. Just. just keep hitting him. I oh, wonder about spears. All right. <laughs> yep, weak to spears. Okay, good. Ha, try that fills out those guys. Experience, which these guys kind of need, especially Hana and Alfin. I would love to get them to level 40 before we take we take on the boss. I think that might be a good idea. Okay, now I need to be a little bit more strategic here. I think it would behoove me. Prim as a healer, as a cleric, has been good. I kind of want to get her as a scholar now. I'm wondering, though, if that's even the best use of my... Hmm. I mean, I could just have... Nah, no. I think a scholar prim makes the most sense right now. Her elemental attack is pretty potent with her... What is it? Her dagger? Her daggers are really strong. So you know what? This job is currently filled by Tressa. That is okay. I have not used this class with her yet, so I need to give her some skills, like, immediately. Uh, alert skills, please. Uh, definitely Lightning Bolt. Uh, Firestorm. Blizzard. I'm gonna have to wait after probably one more fight, and then I can get her Lightning Blast. Face of maneuvers, maneuvers and an elemental augmentation. Well, if she's going to be doing this class, she should definitely have elemental augmentation on. That's just really, really potent. That's good. How would you grant to allies will persist for an additional turn? Enhancements you receive will last. I can get rid of that. That's fine. Give me the elemental augmentation here, please. Uh, thinking about it, can I give anybody else stuff? Ooh, Alfin. I could give you Insight, which would let you get something else here. More readily targeted by foes. Yeah, you know, I don't know if I really want to get you that. <laughs> to be totally honest. The nice thing is, is that this should not have changed... Yeah, this should not have changed Prim's equipment at all. 
so we're still good. Yeah, what's her um elemental attack? Yeah, 510 with this rune knife now. That is super strong. So she will be doing lots of damage with her spells. I think this is probably the best option I could do for her right now. Ooh, hello, purple chest. Elemental hat. I'm gonna give that to. Is it something I even want to give you? If it didn't lower evasion, I would say yes. Actually, Cyrus already has one equipped. Hmm. So, physical defense. This would actually boost your physical defense. Huh. Yeah, you not so much. So, physical defense of 68, essentially. Ah, now this, yeah, is just a pure upgrade for you as well, but it lowers your evasion. You know what's actually kind of funny? I think Therian would benefit more from speed than evasion. Yeah, there's... No, I, I can't really... Maybe Ophelia could have that hat and it would work well for her with how she's set up. This is the nope, beginning. hello. More Go new ahead. enemies. Out of my way. Yeah, right then. Thunder Curators. I will fight thee. Eh, how do we want to fight thee, though? We could just last stand this, and I suppose that's an idea. Then again... Steal SP. I appreciate it. Really? Yeah, Therian can use a little bit more SP. Uh, Ow! Letting the hunt begin it. Yeah, we'll let Prim launch some super strong move. Otherwise, let's go for another rain of arrows. Oh, so you're weak to bows, as are those things. And of course, we missed him. Ready. All right, Scholar, let's do this. Um, give me some... Give me some lightning. Nope, no lightning. No good damage. Just as I thought. Here we go. <laughs> Weak to spears. My turn. How about this? How about... We try a little ice on you. No, not ice. I am ready. The hab of fire. Flames, burn this away. No, nothing. Here that was go. good damage. All right, I think I'm gonna probably have Hana try to capture one of these things. Otherwise, uh, this calls for surgery. Oh no, never mind. I actually didn't think that would kill them. That's Oops. what I'm talking about. Hey, right, well, Alfin leveled up. <laughs> I guess that's uh, that's a good thing. All right, so Alfin leveled up. Hopefully, I can capture some of these things. I think they might make good allies for Hanit. Hmm. Oh! Let's see oh, that's a spider. And slugs? Oh, we, we fought the spider before, but we haven't fought icky slugs. Oh, God. Why? Why do they have to be icky of all things? All right, this time I will summon this guy. Give me, give me some boosted offense here, dude. I could use it. Ha! Eye for an eye, jerk. Yeah, I don't know what these guys are gonna be weak to. Let's try icicle. No, of course not. Oh, they're weak to daggers. Interesting. Hmm. They're weak to daggers. Lightning done my bidding. Not electricity either. Here we They're go. They're all weak to daggers. That's actually odd. What is the best thing for me to do here? Actually, you know what? That'll do her. That might be the best idea. Prim, stay alive. I need you alive. <laughs> yeah, that would be really good if I could use it, but sadly I can't right now. How about then, in this case, a good old steel SP on, I suppose, this... No, do this on the slug. Wow! Okay, that's strong. Bring it on! That is super strong. Yeah, I don't need to do that. Let's just do last stand. 
The spider's weak to it. That's fine. Oh! Uh oh. Here. I am ready. All right, the next. Let's give uh, lightning bolt a shot here. Weaken that guy a little bit more. Hey, more improved offense. Thanks, dude. <laughs> you're, you're really, you're really good at that. And you're not too strong. You with the black bile. That I think I will definitely try to catch. So I will definitely try to catch one of these things. I think that'll just be good overall. Uh, speaking of which, actually, why don't we? Hmm. Yeah, let's let's do this. Nope. Nobody's weak to fire here. Goodbye, fire elemental. I knew thee well. Coming. If thou darest. I knew thee well. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna catch this thing right now. Back yeah, only 23% chance. So, Hanit, you're just gonna to have to sit around and just wait for the time being. Oh, there we go. Okay, that one's broken. I am ready. This might be Hanit's best chance to catch this thing. I just need to do like a little bit more damage to it, probably. There, or maybe not? Hmm. If we just try to do a good old HP thief on this guy over here, we might be good. You're too high. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of damage. Alright. And then now that guy's yellow. Well, I mean, I could catch either one. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, yeah, I killed the guy up front. Should have seen that coming. You know what? This is fine. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> we'll, we'll make do. Not that big of a deal. Oh, damn it! I was hoping... Crap. God damn it. He's gonna kill you now. Uh, I thought that maybe he'd take one more hit and he'd be okay. Of course, I was wrong. That's what I get for just, you know, being stupid. I should have just let it go. Uh. Okay, we're supposed to go up that way. So let's just go this way first. Wait, was this the way in? No. No, it was not. Okay, th I'm getting a little turnaround here. That, yeah, that, that's right. We we, we came over a like thing. a like a like a like a square, a unit. Uh, just run from this fight. Or never mind. Ugh. Of course, leave it to the game to not let me run away when I want to run away. You know what it is? Is I, I remember that Ophelia had that special ability, and actually now that I think about it, I think Tressa had it too. They both have the ability that lets you run away from fights pretty much whenever you wanted to. And then there's the Black Mage ability, or the Scholar ability, that lets you just avoid... Okay, thank God. Let's you avoid encounters in the first place. Combine both of those, and you don't have to fight basically a goddamn thing if you don't want to. <sighs> well, I mean, that's just kind of how it goes, but... <laughs> uh, you just sort of make do with what life throws at you. Hey, I could use the experience and the money anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. Alright, further into the mansion. So good news, I actually finally managed to catch that slug thing. So we are good to go. I don't really see any other enemies in this area I think are kind of, you know, pertinent for Hana to capture. So at the very least, I think we're good on that front. Oh god. If I have to keep fighting these things, though, I will go insane. Please run. Thank you. I just want to explore this place. Maybe maybe I should just put the skill on for the time being. I think, um, I think it's worth it. It's probably, probably worth it. Uh, evasive maneuvers, please. That'll hopefully stem the tide of fights for a little while. Uh, I will take that pomegranate. These pomegranates are kind of hard to come by. And I think you can only ever find them in chests. You can never, like, buy them in shops. Unlike plums and grapes. So, making sure you have some pomegranates on hand is a good plan. Hmm. I thought there was a door there. Eh, oh well. 
Tis fine. Tis fine. No, 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 no. <laughs> I do not. I do not want to fight these guys. Oh, God damn it! No. Oh, please leave me alone. I have no desire to fight a thief. I'll even speak like Hanit to prove it. Please let me go with. Thank you with. Thanketh thee. <laughs> oh, God. Kind of terrifies me to think of the fact that there are people who used to talk like that back in the old days. That was actually a thing. Sort of. Not not so Shakespearean, but the same sort of idea. All right, let's patch everybody up here. I think we're... Oh my god, Alfin. Freaking Christ, Alfin! Okay, yeah, he is a warrior, meaning he does have, like, extra HP, I think. <laughs> Isn't that normally how it goes? I know he gets base HP from the job itself, but doesn't he have... Yeah, Hale and Hardy. Oh no, that's actually from the Apothecary. <laughs> oh, right. Single targeted damage for allies who are near death. Their physical and elemental defenses are enhanced. I mean, honestly, some of that stuff is pretty decent. Gain an additional 30% HP or SP when being healed or restored. Resist ailments. Fleet foot. Increase your speed. Hmm. I mean, granted, with, with Hale and Hardy... Using a non-damaging skill on a foe, it's 50% chance you will attack as well. Honestly, I don't think that's as useful as, say, something like Cover. I mean, Alphid has the HP. If I could use him as, like, a pseudo-tank, this might actually make, like, the difference in some of these situations. Uh, Hanit, as well. She only has Hunter and Thief skills. Which isn't really doing me much favors. That is good for Dancer. And we will use Prim to buff people. 50% chance of counterattacking after being targeted by a physical attack. That is, that is such a nice move. Uh, and same with this second wind. Alright, yeah, we just want to take this off, so... Elemental augmentation is kind of the no-brainer here. Healed above their maximum HP. Eh, do we don't really need it. Yeah, the Evil Ward, that's the skill I was thinking of. Increase your maximum SP by 50. That's pretty good. I wouldn't mind getting that on, like, say, both Cyrus and Ophelia. <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> actually, ironically, I think Ulbrich would be... Would, would, would benefit from that, too, extra SP. Hmm. No, but I think this elemental augmentation is what we have to do. Everybody else here is... Fine, I suppose. I don't really think there's any other thing in particular. I wonder, actually, how many, um... Oh, Prim, you can finally get a Lightning Blast. Good. Give me that. A uh, Precipients. I'll look at that in a second. I don't think, um, Hanit would really benefit from much anything else right now. I don't know. She does have some JP. So what would it be? It would be 100, 300, 500. So she could get four abilities if I give her a new class right now. The question is, is do I even want to do that? Like, do I want to make her a merchant? <laughs> do, do we want Hanit the merchant or something like that? I mean, cleric might be entertaining in, its, in itself. Hanit the merchant. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, Hana as a dancer looks sexy as hell, but not entirely useful. I mean, having somebody with a merchant abilities, I think, would be really good. I mean, you get, like, four of these abilities right now. So, Trade Tempest, Donate BP, Sidestep, probably Rest. I think I'd leave Hired Help. I don't tend to use that one that much. Hmm. I don't know. It's kind of tempting. But what does the Thief do for you? So the thief is raising her accuracy, her crit, her evasion, and her speed. But just by switching to merchant, just by switching to merchant, she'll gain like 200 more HP, 
uh, two more physical attack, three more physical defense, four more elemental defense, five more elemental attack, and six more SP. It's kind of a big trade-off. I don't know, and she could... I could actually have Hanit be the one who steals stuff. Or, like, collects from the boss. Actually, no. You know what? Yeah, I need somebody to do that, don't I? So I should just do this. Sorry I'm deliberating on this a lot. It, I, I didn't really think about this beforehand. But n the more I think about it, the more it makes sense. So, definitely get these. I... Mm. Do we use our money? Or do I just go for the, the wind damage? No, no, let's just go for the wind damage. My party members have been, like, in the same classes for, like, the majority of the game. So, I think it's only fair I, I do some new stuff here. Additional leaf after battle. Yeah, because she has Snatch already. A non-damaging skill on a foe. Well, you're not really going to have anything like that from Merchant. And you don't actually have anything like that from Hunter. Well, you do have the leg hold trap, but that's about it. Honestly, I don't think that's worth it. I think I'm definitely going to give you Snatch uh, in, in place of that, because that's just going to be helpful right now. Second serving is just really good. 25% chance of acting again at the end of a turn. Kind of useful. Attacking first in battle. We don't need that actually right now, do we? Yeah, we don't we don't really need it. So boost our crit instead. Honestly, I don't really care about crit, do I? Let's just go grows on trees. <laughs> Han is going to be Oh, this is so weird. Okay, wait, I need to save. I don't know I don't know how well this is going to work. Oh wait shit, I gotta give her um equipment too, don't I? Yeah, I do. In, in this situation, I do. So you need a spear. You, you need a, you need some kind of a spear here. I wish I could just give you... Oh my god. Oh, that is Skype. I am so sorry. Jesus Christ. I forgot I had Skype open. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'll just give you McGill's spear. And luckily, that's about it. I don't really need to give you much else, do I? Occasionally reduces target's evasion. All right, you know that's that's fine. We'll just we'll just go with this. You're not really doing much with your elemental attack, but you know what? You've got pole arms now, and I think that's going to be useful. All right, let's do it. You're a stubborn one, aren't you? <laughs> like father, like daughter. Who are you to say? So you were the one who clipped the left wing. And you are the right. I have waited too long for this day. The, this man is... Uh, no. He cannot be. What? Who? Who is he? You really did a number on us, didn't you? The left was responsible for maintaining and expanding our little circle of friends. I provided the coin and the power. We made quite the team, if I do say so myself. Nothing, no one could stand in our way. And now you've gone and fouled it up. <laughs> Have I now? All I've done is removed a filthy scavenger from this world. <laughs> oh, you tell this asshole. One less crow, and our realm will be better off for it. <laughs> You're a bold one, I'll give you that. Oh, thanks. I, I like to dress this way. Ah, but it seems I have another guest today. It's been a while, old friend. So it is you. So you know this guy, Ravello. Who is he? Lady Primrose. This is the man who disappeared after your father's murder. The man I feared dead. Albus. I thought you were a man of honor. Oh. What? 
You, you're just traitorous scum, is what this is. Honor's all well and good, but it doesn't buy you much. How could I have been so blind? It was you who sold out Jeffrey to those villains. They trusted you more than anyone. And you stabbed him in the back for a post in the Godstamned League. That's my second in command. A bit slow on the uptake, but you'd always figure it out in the end. Hmm. This village was a rotten husk long before Jeffrey Azelhard met his end. What do you mean? Anyone with half their wits knew the Obsidians were pulling all the strings from the shadows. I simply cast my lot with the winning horse. A simple business decision. <laughs> of course. Lady Azelhard. It's always business with these people, isn't it? Your father spoke grandly of peace and order until the day he met his end. He would talk of his vaunted faith and how it would shield the town from any danger. In the end, he couldn't even save himself. And now a field of headstones is all that remains of the once proud House Azelhart. Ah, oh, screw you, man. You really gotta say it like that? <laughs> Goes to show you what the faith of a fool is worth. Oh, that's it. <sighs> you traitorous bastard! Lord Jeffrey was a thousand times the man you are. You'll sully his name no longer. Master Forsythe, enough. But Lady Primrose... The time for talk has ended. Oh, yes it has. This man, if one can even call him a man, should not live a moment longer. Oh yeah! Let's kick his ass, Prim! There's a fire in your eyes, girl. Yes. It reminds me of the fire in your father's eyes when he faced his end. I am Albus, proud bearer of the Mark of the Crow. Come at me, Primrose Azelheart. I will see that you meet the same fate as your dear father. Oh, we'll see about that. All right, let's take this guy time on. The main event. Next time on Let's Play main Octopath ready. Traveler. Thanks all for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to let me know down below and be sure to tune in for us kicking the ass of Albus the right-hand man. <laughs> Sorry, got a cliffhanger, you guys, sometimes, right? This is the Musical Gamer signing off. Thanks all for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. See you guys then.